Barb from Stranger Things went from being a supporting character to a cult hero faster than anyone expected. But there's much, much more to gorgeous actress Shannon Purser than a pair of chunky specs and those unfortunate mom jeans. Don't get it twisted. Unlike Barb, the character she portrayed on Stranger Things, Shannon Purser managed to get through high school without being killed by an interdimensional entity. Nevertheless, in October 2018, the actress told Jezebel there are a few moments from her high school days that she's not altogether proud of, admitting, uh, The dumbest shit I did in high school was change the, the way that I dressed and acted to get a guy to like me. Purser was reportedly so smitten with the fellow that she even purchased a pair of Converse sneaks and tried to show off an all-black wardrobe around him. He was kind of like punk rock and cool and um, in a band. All in all, she described her whole high school experience as resolutely weird, even though she never personally fought antagonistic spectral forces from a nightmarish hellscape. For Purser, the weirdness had to do with receiving her education through a homeschool co-op, which melded traditional classes with lots of work at home. Same diff. Barbara Holland haunts all of us, but she haunts Shannon Purser in ways the actress surely never anticipated. In a now-deleted 2016 tweet, she wrote, Barb wasn't supposed to be a big deal. In September 2018, Purser was interviewed by InStyle to promote her Netflix rom-com Sierra Burgess is a Loser, but she wound up talking a whole lot about Barb instead. At one point, she straight out states, I don't want to be Barb for the rest of my life. She was my first character and I really care about her a lot. I put a lot of myself into her at the time." In that interview, Purser eventually switches gears and tries getting to the heart of what makes Sierra tick, calling her, "...unique and complex and cerebral, which I really relate to." Barb would probably relate too. Nah, I think Barb's really gone for good this time. Sorry, kids. Well, here's an icebreaker for you. If you were a Scooby-Doo character, what Scooby-Doo character would you be? If you ask Shannon Purser, she thinks Barb would eventually establish herself as the Velma in her group, had she, you know, lived. It makes sense, though, doesn't it? After all, our girl Velma Dinkley is just as brainy as Barb and always insists on getting to the bottom of things, regardless of the consequences. In September 2018, Purser told People, I feel like she would have been like, laying traps for the Demogorgon and like, you know, like figuring out what's actually going on in the town." And much like Velma was always losing her glasses, Purser lost out on some glasses, too. Purser also revealed to people, "...I really wanted to keep Barb's glasses from Stranger Things, but they wouldn't let me." Barb's reputation precedes her, and for now it appears to somewhat precede Shannon Purser's reputation, too. That should change as more people watch the Netflix rom-com Sierra Burgess is a Loser, which stars Purser alongside heartthrob Noah Centineo. And wouldn't you know it, the young actor was already pretty familiar with her work. I watched Stranger Things up until the point that Barb disappeared, and then I stopped watching it. Beautiful. I was like, no Barb, no me. Meanwhile, Purser wasn't altogether familiar with Centineo's body of work, but that didn't make a difference. The two reportedly hit it off straight away during their screen test, and then they grabbed a spot of lunch which, according to Purser, felt a bit like speed dating. And I just remember being like struck by how earnest and charming he is. I found it so easy to, to like be myself around him and, and get to know him, and that was really great. On April 19, 2017, Shannon Purser came out on social media, a decision reportedly informed by some Riverdale controversy. According to Digital Spy, many fans were upset because a smooch between two female characters, Betty Cooper and Veronica Lodge, wasn't developed in subsequent episodes. In a since-deleted tweet, Purser, who portrays Ethel Muggs in the moody, Archie-inspired CW melodrama, dismissed the complainers as angry Veronica stands. After experiencing some blowback for the comment, Purser made an announcement in another deleted tweet, writing, "I don't." I normally do this, but I figure now is just as good a time as any to get personal. I've only just recently come out as bisexual to my family and friends. Admitting that she doesn't really like talking about her sexuality, she emphasized that she's still, quote, very, very new to the LGBT community, and hadn't even heard the phrase queer baiting prior to the fracas, adding, I have never ever wanted to alienate anyone. Shannon Purser has a bone to pick with the media. In August 2018, she told Pop Crush that the relative lack of plus-size characters in popular media is a problem. The way she sees it, the issue isn't, in her own words, the portrayal of fat people, but the absence of fat people. Purser admitted that while growing up, she had a hard time personally connecting with popular culture, mainly because most characters didn't look like her. Now that Sierra Burgess is a Loser is streaming on Netflix, she hopes that people can watch it and realize that chubby girls are just as worthy of a story as anybody else. The bottom line? Purser feels like her performance in Sierra could ultimately have a lasting impact. She told Pop Crush, "...it is important to me that I get to make that narrative a more positive one. 